Hi everyone and welcome back to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. Today it is an exciting day, I think, because Evernote just launched the desktop version of Evernote 10. Why I'm excited? I have no idea because I didn't see it yet. But we will check it out together, so let's roll it. So when we go to the download section, the App Store for Evernote, we see there is only 16 hours ago they launched a version 10 of the desktop version. I'm on Mac here actually, and I'm really excited to dive, in, dive into this if this is really a big change. So now let's just see what happens when we open it for the first time. And there we are. Um, welcome to your updated Evernote app. We've added new features, updated your editing options and moved some things around. Hopefully not my notebooks. Let's explore this. Aha, so this is something I like and I think that should be state of the art for any new application that you have some guided tutorial there. So it's easy to create a new node, add a new node or explore templates here. Got it. And what do we have here? Okay, it comes up. You're up to date, Evernote 10. Welcome release. Okay, that's just the information we also get in the App Store update section. And we see there's a lot of new things going on. And by the way, I will start a new interview series and a podcast. And one of my first guests in these interviews will be Ian Small or Ian. Is it Ian Small? Sorry, Ian. Just tell me. Ian, also Ian. Aha! So I was right in both. So I have to ask him, how do you want to be called? Ian or Ian? So, <laughs> you know, both works. I know that. I will be able to interview him. I'm asking all about what actually happened the last two years with Evernote. And he will tell us here on YouTube, you will see it there and it will also launch in a brand new podcast. There you have it. There was the announcement. And now let's get back into Evernote 10. So we close this, I think, because we want to discover it on our own. I love it to have the direct experience instead of, you know, reading through spoilers here, list of spoilers. All right. So, um, what do we have? What's new? Create a node. Okay, now we can create nodes. Isn't that awesome? I guess we could have done this before. Reminders and tags. I think this is something we had before too. All right, reminders and tags are now there. That's great. Get a one-click access to your... That's really, you know, I like this already in the iOS app that they just launched, I think, is it already two weeks ago? It was one week ago. It is a big improvement on the UI. It's much easier to use now and all this. Um, let's see. And, and I also like it here because previously, I think it was hidden somewhere there and you had to click around and depended on if you're on the desktop or on the web access. Oh, I'm getting tired by just telling you that. But this looks much more um, streamlined now. And I actually can just click here and add a tag. So when I click on my notes, I don't want to go over around here, so but now let's say we are here on this beautiful picture I just sent to Evernote, and I can tag it a uh, be beauty nice pick. All right, so um, now we tagged it and that's really easy. And I can filter by tag and it filters. Okay, and it doesn't find the picture that I just tagged with the tag. Nice pick. What's happening? Is this uh, on purpose? I mean, we have the tag right here. Nice pick. Let's see, do it again. Tags, nice pick. You are gonna be kidding me, right? 
Okay, let's ignore this for the moment. We will get back to this later. We give it maybe a second to update or synchronize or whatever. And uh, let's go through the tutorial instead. Your editor, bam, drag and drop blocks. Oh my God, I can drag and drop blocks now. Something that we had in Notion from day one onwards. And, oh no, I, I, I over oh, there was a second page. Why do you indicate there's a second page when there is none? Okay, next, uh, search notes. There was a second page. I want to see the second page. Okay, find find what you need faster. Let's try to find a nice pick, shall we? Nice pick. Aha. Uh -huh. So it seems it took a bit to index this tag, or how do you want to call it? So I just get rid of this and try it again with this filter here. Nice pick. All right, it works well. So it seems it took just a few seconds or maybe I had to finish the tutorial in order to make it work, but it works. That's that's great. So let's see when I search for untitled node, what else I can find? Oh, a lot of untitled and nodes. Interesting. But what do I already like? is the highlighting. That's something that was always powerful in Evernote and that's the reason why I still use it as my document dump. I will talk about more in this future, in the future, because I'm using Filterize, which is actually an automation system that tightly integrates into Evernote. As soon as I do scan a document, it recognizes the text on the document and it will order it into my different folders there. That's awesome. By the way, also an interview coming up with the CEO from this company. Uh, so stay tuned and make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Okay, so a lot of untitled stuff, but at least it is easy to find. And what I really like is really the, the good looking interface. I can make full screen. I can write things. It seems I can drag around blocks. They just said it, I could. So how do I do this? How can I drag around blocks? Maybe we have to make a headline. Okay, there's no slash function there. So it seems I still have to write a headline, select it, then go up here and take a different header. Why don't you just call it headline one, two, and three? Why? Okay, never mind. There we go. And can I drag it around now? No, I can't. I'm sure it's the user. So I guess when you change the the, the font now, it will change now on any app that there were the new versions of Evernote are running. That's nice. This wasn't the case before. We always had to set this in the different apps and so on. This is really the thing Evernote is working on, you know. They try to make it exciting what they publish right now, but it is something that you would expect from a 2020 application. So we have just to keep in mind that there are, it's more than a decade, I think around, it's more than a decade, yes, where they really have to, you know, they had a very dated system in the back end that people don't see. They had the different versions on the different devices. Why? Because when they started Evernote, there was no iPad. So this is the reason why it became really dated. And that was the big challenge to actually get back on track, streamline all the apps, harmonize everything, and give the user an equal experience across all the platforms. And that is really the main goal. Do we have... Markdown? Nope. 
All right, never mind. So it is actually a pretty basic note taking experience as we had before. So you have tasks. I'm so notion used now with the to do. So what do I need to do to make a to do out of this? Make a to do. Mark this and then do we have a to do? Mark checkbox. Checkbox. Really? I have to go over there to select checkbox and go back there. Please let me drag this over here to save some space, you know, and, and don't. So many apps do this. Why, why do you put everything on one side where I actually have to pick the stuff that I need over here? Okay, we can make sketches. Oh, that's much more fluent as it was before, I have to say. So I already looking forward to test out the iPad version. But still very standard and basic. Nothing totally over exciting. But I don't want to, you know, I don't want to make it small and bad or something like this. It is a big improvement. Now I have here the option to choose my notes. And now I can just move it to other notebooks this way. Um, here I can easily share it. As I say, it's much more 2020 like now. Don't let's dive deeper into this. I thank you very much that you tuned in again. If you like what you see there, if you like the video, make sure you subscribe to this channel and that you share this video with your friends and give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you up next time.